Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. There's construction going on in this compound. If you people hear anything, please ignore it, okay? But um, this is like two days after I came back from Dubai. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. I belong in Dubai. But I have a couple of packages that came in while I was gone, right? They're mostly all from DHL and no, what do I even mean by they're mostly all from DHL? They were delivered via DHL. They are mostly all from Huda Beauty. So these are all PR and I think that there's something I'm really excited about in here. Let me just do this, okay? Can you guys see me? I'm sure you guys are in here. And also a couple of the things that I got. I said that I went to Sephora at a point in that vlog. By the way, if you're here and you've not seen my Dubai vlog, stop watching this. What's the point? You need to go and watch that vlog, babes, boys, girls, everybody. Just go watch that vlog first and then come back to this. But first of all, let me show you guys with that beauty stuff and I'll kind of show you guys what I got from Sephora. Just the beauty stuff that I got. So, I have a couple of Wishful items here. If you do not know, Wishful is um, Huda Beauty's like, sister brand, the skincare. So, Huda Beauty does mainly makeup, or like, yeah. Huda Beauty mainly does makeup, and then wish, Wishful. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Wishful does skincare okay so i have two things here or just one thing actually there's a smaller size like a small sample size of it and then there's a full like solid pack of it sorry the packaging is white and that's the reason why it's so blown out sorry about that guys but i'll take it out and show you guys so this is basically the eye lift and contour cream and this is interesting i'm going to try this and tell you guys what i think i personally have not had a lot of luck when it comes to eye creams i've told you guys before i've had some of them legit break me out or even give me like small small bumps under my eyes i know that i need them you know i've just not found a great one yet so two products are inside one one pack packet is it the same thing oh right so this is a refill so it's like a situation of like this actual thing I think is sold it's one of those situations where I think you have to buy this once and this under is a refill so it comes with one and then one refill so these are what I'm really excited about these are their new concealers I have not used a concealer from Huda Beauty before they have some really popular ones but I haven't these are just the new ones and I'm excited so first of all it comes with a blending sponge let me tell you guys, nobody does PR packages like Huda. They think about every single thing. In short, eh, they want you to open the tent and start using it. They don't even want you to go and look for something else to use and use their products with. Was that English correct? But yeah, they put concealer, they put a blending sponge just in case you don't have a blending sponge. Okay. Um, they also put a little concealer brush here, a fluffy one. So these are their four filter luminous matte liquid concealers. I have three shades here. Peanut butter, butterscotch, and brittle. I think I'm most likely going to be brittle. God forbid. I will not be brittle in Jesus' name. But my shade will most likely be brittle. Okay. And there's an easy bake powder. I have the easy bake powders. But this particular shade, I'm also sure that I have. But that's what I'm telling you guys about Huda Beauty. And their PR packages. So just in case you have the concealer and you don't have a brush. Here's a brush for you, dear. Use it. In case you have this concealer and you don't have a sponge and that is going to delay your usage here is a con um, what's it called a blending sponge and then if you have all of that and you don't have a powder to set it with here is one you don't have an excuse so these have been around for a very long time but it's the fact that they actually think to give you everything that they already have just in case you don't have it so that it makes using whatever it is they've come out with easy like i said nobody does pr packages like huda beauty some people come close pixie very good job they do but huda beauty is on a league of their own moving on to the things that i got from dubai right so i have two ajmal body oils here first of all if you've heard of this ajmal before or if you know who ajmal is or what ajmal does and you never mentioned them to me i'm angry with you 
just so you know like i discovered this brand by chance actually they're just very very popular and sure let me tell you guys how i discovered this brand christabel was buying for her man she asked in dubai where to get very good body oils from like she asked on her snapchat and a lot of people were telling her that if it is body oil then admal is the brand so that's it she got this we couldn't stop talking about it i went there and i saw that you have both masculine and feminine scents so what i did was i got two different scents for myself right i'm gonna take these out they come in different bottles like if you buy them they come in different bottles whichever one you want is what you pay for i think that these are the smallest bottles that they have but i got two scents i got oud rose and i got lovely time these are perfect i remember when in one of my perfume videos i told you guys of how i love like I, i'm not really a big fan of oud perfumes but i found that if it's floral oud or rose oud especially i love it this is what i think that a lot of things i've used they are pretending to be no vex the other ones but this is really with the real deal and ugh, i remember <laughs> let me not talk but this is amazing okay if you smell this on another human's body if you do it's just amazing so guys i'll probably do an updated perfume video soon but ajmal guys for scented body oils this brand is mad okay i think that they're just in the middle east or just in dubai i don't know where else they are but so for the things that i got from Sephora, I got a new moisturizer. I actually went to repurchase my Huda Beauty moisturizer and the lady in the counter basically sold this to me, told me that this is what she uses and, her, you know, she did what her job was, to be honest. But I literally believed her in a way that she said that that's the moisturizer that she uses. And all I know about Glam Glow, I don't know Glam Glow beyond their masks. When they first came out on in the beauty industry, like on the scene, everybody knew Glam Glow for their masks. I didn't know that they had moved on to other type of, types of skincare products. So this is the Glam Glow Super Water Gel. This particular one is targeted at people with oily skin. Right? I'll take it out just so you guys can see but this is their triple acid oil free moisturizer and it has hyaluronic acid salicylic acid and glycolic acid acid and these are all like all the good acids that i think for people with my skin type and it looks like this right it looks like this um it's bluish inside i will use this too and tell you guys what i think about them and when it comes to makeup guys because of all the time i think i spent in the uk last year when i was with chrissy because i was with chrissy for a very long time one brand that it's not like i've never heard of them but i gradually started gravitating towards their products during that period is charlotte tilbury around the time that charlotte first came on the scene i'm not gonna lie there were not a lot of black women talking about charlotte tilbury products i looked at the brand and i thought that they were just they're like a white woman brand if that makes any sense because i just didn't know them to be people i could get stuff for my and on all the youtubers and creators that i was watching at the time they weren't using a lot of stuff from charlotte tilbury but that's kind of changed i've noticed that more and more creators of color are talking about their products and the best pen liner i've ever used in my life okay i got from charlotte tilbury and you know the crazy thing about them is that it's the first pen liner that i've seen that doesn't dry out so there's this brown one i got from them that i use it's called the the flick right the the flick um eyeliner pen that i got from them so one thing about this is that it doesn't dry up what it does is it starts getting transparent or the color starts fading in intensity when it comes to intensity but it doesn't dry out that in its own is innovative because mostly liners just dry out so this is what the pen liner looks like this is the brown one um what's the the brown shade called it's just called dark brown so you open it up and it has a very like pointy tip guys this is so vibrant the like the most gorgeous type of brown to be honest and just one like this gives you what you want it's very very good i love it and um i personally love using brown eyeliners a lot because i feel like they will give you the drama that you want but like it's not like very very obvious drama like you'd get with black um gel line um, eyeliners another thing again that i got from charlotte tilbury was this there so this thing according to them it's not a tinted moisturizer it's not a foundation it's just a product i don't know what it is but it's their hollywood flawless filter that's what this product is called so according to them it's like in, it's it's not quite a foundation it's not quite moisturizer but it gives you a very nice like tint to the skin especially when you are not trying to do too much 
when you want a very natural appearance um you use this it comes with a wand like concealers do it's very like sheer and lightweight i've not done any beauty related thing in a very long time so nobody should get offended because this is my core babes and boys and girls okay um but i get really excited about makeup and beauty products and i'm just showing you guys what i got because i know that some of you really want to know what i got from sephora okay so i got this i'll also put this to good use and tell you guys what it is i repurchased my nar share glow moisturizer by the way no share glow foundation this is my favorite foundation right now i really like it to be honest i've used every single foundation that nars has come out with except the last one they just came out with and share glow is that the end i also got um a radiant creamy concealer in walnut i have a mand and i have caramel um so i got walnut it looks a bit orangey so hopefully this actually gives me some sort of highlight but yeah so this shade is in between amand and caramel i repurchased this um Kali hair mist okay i don't want to open this because i have a pack that is already open but guys Kali hair mist deja vu white flower 57 i highly recommend that you check it out this is hair perfume or hair fragrance if you love like smelling nice and you have products for smelling nice all over but you don't have anything for your hair i'd highly recommend that you use this it works for every single hairstyle that i've ever done even braids it's a mist so it's like a fine mist when you spray it and it just kind of you know on the hair but without you know drenching your hair so i went to sephora to get the drunk elephant um sunscreen People rave about that thing. Everybody, like, there's this lady I follow on Instagram called Ada. She loves their sunscreen so much. And I wanted to get it. I looked for it when I was in London. I did not see. I did not do any type of beauty shopping when I was in Turkey. So I didn't enter Sephora. Sephora. Um, but in Dubai, they had drunk elephants in Sephora. But they did not have the sunscreen that I wanted. But they also talked me into trying this um, Shiseido Clear Skin Care Stick. Um... It looks like this and they just kind of like you know very really advertising this and saying oh how you reapply it it looks like a deodorant stick and that's what kind of got me a bit intrigued because a bit fascinated is i don't know how i please you people know what i'm saying and they just say you you reapply this and you just kind of and it's spf 50 and i love the fact that it does not leave a white cast it does not feel greasy on the skin i was like this looks really cool like just sunscreen that you apply like a stick what i don't now know is how long this lasts and i understand that some of you might not like it because it's not necessarily the most hygienic thing for you to but we already do that with deodorant anyways i just like i don't think that this is a sunscreen i'll be using on my face but i'll be using it all over the body and i think that throwing this into your purse and just kind of you know going over your skin is very convenient so i got this it is the clear sun care stick transparent spf 50 synchro shield wet force slash heat force very high protection water resistant okay that took way longer than it should have what i'm done i want to go and wash my hair and take up my cornrows guys i have a headache i've gone to salon a lot in the last previous vlogs so I might or might not vlog while I am there, but I just want to wash my hair and just do cornrows again and just wear wigs for about a week and then do something else to my hair. Good morning, everyone. I went to pick up a salad order. I'm going to show you guys what I got um, ASAP, but it's me in front of this mirror again. It's funny enough, I was just ranting about it on Instagram, asking people to recommend a new mirror person to me. So let us see what people who, or who people recommend and see if I can just get a new mirror done um let me show you guys what i got please ignore the mess like the little holes you guys are seeing i haven't removed the plastic wrap on the like, covering the marble um on the dining but i went to this place i saw on twitter called oiza i think they do salads and wraps and this looks healthy food generally i've been craving mango smoothies like crazy like i don't know what it is but this one mango strawberry chia seeds um I told them to take out the cream and they took it out. They said they you they would use water for me instead. So there is no cream in this. And I got their avocado salad. Um, I'm going to have this for lunch and tell you guys how that goes. Um, I think that this... Hmm, I'm just actually wondering now, is there dressing for my salad? Jesus Christ. 
What type of dressing did they give me for my salad? Oh, God, oh, chuku. I think I didn't ask. Because oh, there's this salad place I order salad from. And it always comes with a vinaigrette dressing. This, I don't know if it... Ugh. I'll figure something out. What I have here is mayo, and I'm not going to use mayo to eat this, but I'll figure something out, don't worry. This is a chicken, vegetable chicken wrap that I'll be eating, and the mango smoothie. I'm also hearing something about false scarcity again, and I'm trying to make sure that that does not just work me up today, okay? Um, I have a meeting shortly, but let me also see if I can find a way to sort out fuel, because I'd, like, if there's one thing I hate, it is false scarcity with, with everything I have. I got off the phone with them and I was asking, and they said, yeah, that this is mayo, and I kind of explained that I can't eat mayo, and they were super, super helpful. They were like, oh, don't worry, just send me an address, and guys, this is not sponsored, by the way. I saw this on Twitter. Someone was eating from here on Twitter, and I was like, this looks good, because I've been eating a lot of salads recently, and I was just surprised that I actually called, and I was like, I can't eat mayo. What do we do? They were like, we'll just send an address and we'll, we'll send you vinegar dressing for the salad because I told them I'll be having the salad for lunch. So I'll eat and I'll tell you guys um, how it tastes, but I'm really impressed by what just happened. Okay, so I finished my meeting and on my way to my tailor's place, I'm going to fit the dress or my dress. You know, I showed that I think two vlogs ago. I dropped fabric off. I keep saying Taylor, but she's actually a very good, very, very good designer. And I didn't go there with any style or whatever. I just kind of said what I wanted and they just, you know, brought it to life and showed me sketches. So I am going there to fit my outfit. Uh, they told me to come and they've told me that it's ready. So I'll see you guys when I get there. But yeah, I feel like guys tomorrow is going to be a very long day so i think i want to kind of end, end things a bit early today okay yeah mm -hmm. i'm asking you people again when i think so i go fit do this thing that you're doing someone even the person i get i know i won't do it but then the person who will do it i'm just i don't know if they'll list it the way Uh, yeah. Okay. I love the way it looks, but I have to breathe. Okay. It's not like It looks nice. My waist looks super snatched, to be honest. It's just that I don't know. Um, yeah, I look like a model. See? Okay. It looks really nice. you guys to see the detailing on this dress like they really transformed this fabric it looks mad and it's not even done yet because they still have to attach sleeves and they still have to put something here but it looks really really good like Okay, finally about to dig into the salad and it looks so good and um, this is their chicken avocado salad it's lunch time now and um, i've just come back from the tailors um avocado here egg um some onions pasta i think slices of cucumber chicken and it smells really good as well um i already poured the dressing in but like they said when i called they actually delivered the dressing I'm just going to pour what I have left there, but this is actually a very good portion of salad. At first, when they gave me the price, I was like, ah, this is expensive for salad. Because there's one I already buy for like 3000 something. But this is slightly more expensive than that, but I see why it's massive. So, let's eat. Guys, like, I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I'm even just vlogging because I'm going for my second fitting. Guys, I've just not been... I need to rest and I feel like that's what's like. Everything I've done in the past three weeks is kind of like looking, catching up with me. So I'm taking like a mini break from vlogging maybe until the end of the week. I'm going to that again next week, but I have to fit my dress one more time. And I just want to take you, along, you guys along for that and show you guys how it goes. 
So guys, this is actually my final fitting. There's a couple of things that they have to finish, but that can be done when um, I take this off. So there's beading going on here. It's almost done. It's navy blue and silver. And because of that, she's thinking of adding, um, she's thinking of adding silver bits to the bottom to balance it out. I don't know, but I love the fit of the top. So it fits really well now. Any other thing that they will add to it is like, you know, but the fit is amazing. And this corset is corsetting. That's what this corset is doing. It's corsetting. So I love it. I am finally ready. It's the day after you guys saw me for the fitting, but I'm finally ready. Like it took me this makeup. I'm going to do a tutorial. It's going to be called James Bond. Okay. I did this makeup in like the craziest thing. My hair took so long. I didn't expect it to take so long. So it's just like a, it's a wig, but they kind of laid it really flat and made it look like, you know, you guys know what this looks like. Um, my dress is here. Uh, can you focus please? Oh, sorry, one second. <laughs> okay, so my dress is here and I'm going to wear it now. Is there something on this camera? Is it or whatever? Guys, we're um, strapping this in now. I love it. I just finished putting it on and it looks incredible. Like, look at the beadwork and all the detailing, right? And it has a very nice slit, okay? It has a very nice slit. I'm wearing my purse from Dubai still. And I love it. I'm about to leave though, but I love it. So. to kind of finishing that house up so that I can go back to creating regular content, you know. So um, I'm going to stop somewhere now to buy plants, like my regular plants, please. And yeah, I have some plant pots that I put in the car. I will show you guys what I end up getting. We'll see. Plants, we get small height. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I've come somewhere else because the first place I went to, um, Sadiq, my guy, the person I normally buy from is not around, and the guy I met there wasn't really selling, like I was asking questions and he wasn't answering. So, um, I'm just waiting. I've asked for a plant, so I'm waiting for him to bring it out. I'm at another shop and finally I think I'm making progress because I finally selected plants. I want some things from the front of my front door. You know, it's just that I don't I'm not a big fan of plants that need support. What? What type of plant is that? That's cactus. cactus. Yes. Bring it, let me see. I don't know that cactus. This one I can plant this one outside. Yes. This one. Yes. I like it. How much is it? Can I plant plants inside one pot? For that pot, that you can plant like let me just say five or four. Okay, I want. I like the color. Please bring out. Get from this side. I feel like the ones where they get plenty flowers. Yeah, inside pot. That is one inside pot. Where? Inside pot. Hey, can I buy that one? Yes. Well, it looks like it's not very healthy. Like this now. If I plant and you can see food. Oh, I, I get what you're saying now. I get what you're saying. Listen. If 
that they are not going to be like this. I'm going, I'm going to join it together. That one where they back and forth. Eh, I like those ones. Eh, eh, eh. Bring, bring. Yes, bring out. Yes, give me from. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. I like that. I like that selection better. Add this last one. This one? Yes, yes. I'll take that. Nice. Yes. 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 Okay, so I am back and these are all the plans that I got. Um I have this long one here. Um this they said it's called coconut palm is what I was told when I got this I'm not quite sure what this is called but it's such a gorgeous like pink plant and this one that looks like a pineapple but it's like a desert plant I think this one oh my god it's changing color I need to actually pour water into here and I got a snake plant another one and this is a rubber plant I got this from my bedroom actually so I'm going to take it upstairs Rubber plants do really well indoors. Okay. So I got two other plants that I didn't show you guys. This one is um a lily. What's it called? A what's it something lily? Hmm. Peace lily, I think this is called. I got this, it's just right in front of the mirror here. Okay. And and the last plant i got is this cactus here it's a really cute looking cactus i haven't seen cactus that looks like this before this is a very cute looking cactus i think that the the basket that it's in is very small or way too small for it but i like the corner where i put it in i think it looks um one second let me just move back i think it looks really good in that corner right so these are all the plants that i got Guys, Maz just came over. Maz cooked food for me. Can you imagine? I was like, when are you coming now? Because she's supposed to come. She was like, she's cooking for me. She's not yet done. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Aww. Sweetest girl. Sweetest girl. Ah, and it's red and luscious. <laughs> Look at that. Love it. I'm happy. Maz is here. We're working. We're not really doing anything. We're basically here to work and... You know, I just and stuff. Out, I I'm gonna work out, so I'll put it on your TV. And... Yeah, that's fine. Anything you wanna do, there, do it. <laughs> um, guys, I am still eating Maz's jollof. This Maz tastes amazing. Norma is on the phone now. She just called me to insult me. Who does that? Wait, I think somebody. I'm with Maz. Yes, Maz is still here. <laughs> Maz is still here. Maz is saying hi to you. Hello. Hi. Guys, this jollof rice is fire. Maz, 10,000 yards, wife material. Good morning. Guys, I think I'm going to end this vlog today. Um, I'm taking my braids out later this evening and I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I was thinking of maybe doing my hair and ending the vlog with it. But I've just kind of decided that I will start the new vlog with me getting that hair done. To be honest, you guys are probably going to have seen the hair that I'm going to do before that vlog. But I feel like that's the best way because right now I'm kind of working on scheduling and doing a lot of things ahead of time just so that i don't get overwhelmed when i actually start publishing if that makes any sense but just before i go i got some clothes and i was like let me do a mini haul it's not just three three items i got so i want to try it in front of you guys okay so i ordered um clothes when i was when we we're going to dubai actually i ordered three outfits from house of cb and this red one was supposed to be my in short i had a couple of them that were supposed to be my birthday outfits but i ordered this and i sent it to chrissy's house so chrissy was supposed to come from london to dubai with these clothes right because i don't think house of cb ships to nigeria and even if they did i'm not even interested in knowing what the customs is going to be like and i never bought anything from house of cb until this year sometime this year and there's a top that you guys saw me wearing when i was in turkey and then a dress from them and i actually got the hype like the quality of their clothes so good so i decided to buy three outfits that i could possibly wear for my birthday and then 
because of the Queen's Jubilee, so two days leading up to Chrissy actually leaving London, we're public holidays in London, so they couldn't deliver these items, irrespective of the fact that I selected next day shipping or whatever. So she sent it to a door to door shipper or to my shopper, and my shopper just helped me forward it, like send it down here. So I'm going to try the three outfits on for you guys, and then that will be it for this vlog, okay? I might need help buttoning some of them, but let me try and show you guys what they all look like. I might switch to my phone just to show these clothes better, okay? Okay, so this is the first dress. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is a size 10 or small. I don't know if they do like small, medium, large. This is definitely a small. If it's like 10, 12, I, I'll look at the tag again, but this is like small 10 right size wise so the dress fits nice from here down right but i think that the sleeves are kind of tight you know and i just feel like i can't move around that much in them the sleeves are not detachable because to be honest i'm thinking that i might actually just detach the sleeves but i think that all around it's a very gorgeous dress I'll still wear it. I'll probably still find a time to wear it, right? I'm going to try to link these outfits in the description box, yeah? So this is the first one. So the next one is this purple outfit. And then there's this black one, I think. So let me try the purple on. This is a dress, but it's kind of made to look like you're kind of tucked into a skirt. And I like the overall idea of this. In short, I have a bag. Um that i feel i'm not wearing the best underwear for this at the moment to be honest so i'll wear something that kind of smooths things out a lot better if i decide to hold on to this but i don't know if i'm going to keep this to be honest i might actually just sell it it's a very gorgeous dress but i don't like the fact that you see it's doing this like it was so smooth in the picture that i saw right I don't know and if i'm going to shape this up now or do something to kind of tackle that complaint you see this thing happening here or whatever like i have to shape it from the back like i have to tailor it from the back i can't do it from the sides because the zip is on the side it's a bit rumpled i reckon that if this is ironed it will look a lot more better but I don't you guys see there's a lot of space in this area here and the only way to fix it is for me to get it tailored so i might just get it tailored and see but the quality of it is nice i feel like ironed it to look so much better do you know more than anything i love the back of this like i love i just love this i love it so much so we'll see if i decide or what i decide to do with this but yeah i dropped my camera to actually use my phone to vlog this bit let me wear the last dress okay so this is the last one and this is like my absolute favorite i don't even think that this video is doing this dress justice it is such a gorgeous dress the fabric is very sh um light i wanted to say sheer but not sheer it's very light and kind of slinky i would say almost like you've i don't know like i feel like it's sexy it's like a really sexy dress i would say i really love the way it looks on me i love the way it comes together at the waist and really holds me there's this tie detail right on top it's a gorgeous dress like beautiful beautiful dress what do you guys think tell me out of these three which is your favorite which one do you think is like like the best i, I like this one the most so ah that's it right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you like to subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed um yeah i wanted to say more i was like i'm not gonna say much again i'll see you guys in the next one this was a very chill vlog not packed with activities but this is my life do you understand sometimes so i'll see you guys in my next one Kisses. Mm. <laughs>